Well, today's going to be just a little bit different day. Um, it's Saturday morning, so I'm hoping that I can get this <laughs> this video uploaded and out there with y'all uh, later this afternoon. I've been having a lot of trouble with my uh, internet since all this virtual and, and all this stuff's been going on. It's just a hit and miss sometimes, and plus we live so far out in the boonies that uh, we don't have the best of internet, but coming soon, hopefully about December, January, that's going to change because we are getting um, some new internet, so, and it's supposed to be really good stuff, and that's going to help me out a whole lot, but anyways, today, it's a beautiful Saturday morning, I have been up and I have tried so hard to get my house clean, I got a couple of loads of laundry washed. And uh, Mr. Brown went duck hunting today, and I'm so glad that he was able to get out and go do something that he loves so much. Uh, he needed that, and I know he'll have a good day because it is a really nice day out there. And I hope he gets some doves, too. But today, what I'm doing is I had about 50 pounds of some Spanish sweet onions, and <laughs> I've been trying to get them put up. And I've done... Mr. Brown helped me, and we've got about uh, 20, 25 pounds put up so far. Last night when we come in from work, we pretty much just, I uh, got the mandolin out that I was, uh, Tanya, my friend, gave me a really nice mandolin to use to, to slice my onions and stuff up real thin. So I've done that, and we got my dicer out, and uh, I'll show y'all that. Most of y'all probably have seen those, but let me tell you something, they are a lifesaver. And this was just one that I bought at Walmart. It's not an expensive one. But we got, <laughs> I wish y'all could have seen us last night because it was hilarious. But once we got in from work and got into, and I didn't even cook supper last night. We just snacked a little bit because we were so tired from the week anyways. But uh, cut up about 25 pounds of onions <laughs> and see what your house smells like. It smelled like, like I told Miss Vicki, I said, our house smells like an onion farm. And we were both just tears just rolling. <laughs> but, and we tried every, you know, thing you could think of that people tell you to do when you're cutting up onions that you won't cry. And I begged them, I said, please go out in the store to go and see where them goggles are. <laughs> Next time, I will have a pair of goggles when I'm cutting up that many onions. Whew, I'm telling you, we was both just a a crying, but we got it done. And uh, he diced up a bunch of onions for me. I got them put up in the freezers while I'm done with those because I love to go out there, especially in the week when you're trying to get supper cooked, and I can just open up me a little bag, and that's what I've done. Some of them I put in uh, cup size. Uh, what I've done is I got my food saver out and measured out about a cup, a handful in each one, and that way they'll stay fresh and I'll get freezer burnt. But then I ran out of freezer, uh, food saver bags. So I said, heck with this. And I just got gallon size bags out. And I just loaded them up with onions and I, I double bagged them. And when I need a handful of onions, I'll just go out there and get them. <laughs> so we got them put up. But also last night after using my mandolin and slicing my onions up real thin, and y'all, this morning, I thought, why did, you know, if it would have been so light, I'd have went ahead and videoed that little process last night. But I can take y'all through that this morning because I just want to show y'all the canning process of it anyways. It's an easy process. If you have a bunch of onions that you need to put up, we love caramelized onions. And I'm going to be putting these up in uh, half pint jars because that's all me and Mr. Brown need at a time. And... Uh, what I done is I just sliced my onions up really thin, and um, I just filled my slow cooker up. It's a six quart uh, slow cooker, and I filled it even above because I knew it was going to cook down. And uh, I I put it on right before I went to bed, which was about ten o'clock, ten thirty, something like that. I just couldn't go no more, so I told Mr. Brown, I said, you know, I got to go to bed. But uh, I put the lid on it put it on for eight hours. Uh, this morning when I got up, the house smelled like onions still. <laughs> and uh, 
I just opened it up and I put me about a tablespoon of uh, roasted garlic powder in there and I put about a half a cup of Worcestershire sauce and I stirred that up good. So it's been on just uh, warm on my slow cooker. I'm keeping it warm. I stirred it up good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to can it and it's a really easy process. So I'm going to bring y'all in closer and we're going to get started. What I want to do is I want to show you the caramelized onions in the slow cooker. Now, like I said, I put these on last night for eight hours. Uh, and they were even just a little bit over the top full because my lids still fit on there. And you can see that they have cooked down a, almost half. Um, after putting my onions in here, I didn't put nothing else in there except a, whole, uh, a stick of butter. And so they look beautiful. They're golden, but um, once you process them, they're going to get a little bit darker. So they look really pretty right now. Uh, I taste them. They're just wonderful. So now that you've seen what they look like after they're cooked, we're going to start uh, getting them in the jars. And I'll show you how we're going to process them. Okay, let's get started canning our caramelized onions. And this is a really easy process. We got our caramelized onions here. And I'm, like I said, I'm doing them in half pint jars because that's really the amount that Mr. Brown and I needed. Now you can do them in pints um, if you got a bigger family. Now if I need more, I can just open you know, two half pints, and I'd rather do that than waste any. So, I got them out here, and I'm not sure how many pints it's going to make. It, it differs every time. But my jars are hot, and I got my lids in some uh, warm water. I don't have them in boiling water, but I've got them in some warm water. And I've got my canners getting ready here. And uh, we're just going to start jarring these up. You know, caramelized onions is something that... Uh, we just, we dearly love, and we put them on so much. So, uh, I decided with all these onions that I needed to can up quite a few. And what better way to can them up than to caramelize them? Because they will be used up, I guarantee you. There's so many things that uh, you can use them for. Uh, Mr. Brown likes it when I just cook up a hamburger patty. He just loves a plain old hamburger patty. Uh, seasoned up a little bit. Now, well, I want to tell y'all real quick. These caramelized onions made some really beautiful onion broth. And uh, I'm going to go back through. I'm going to make sure the jars are kind of full of that broth too. Uh, so this will be great. All you have to do is open the jar up and just, you know, warm them up with your, with whatever you're eating. You can put this on like a, a Philly steak sandwich, a, a hamburger, a patty melt. Uh, if you're cooking a roast, I wouldn't put it, put them on there right at the beginning, but getting closer to the end, you can put them in there with your roast. Because I'm afraid if you put it in there in the beginning, that uh, they might overcook and just won't be as good. But I tell you, I can tell you something, this will be good on a hot dog too. On a chili dog. Uh, if you like a little onions with your scrambled eggs or fried eggs in the morning, it'd be good. Now there is a recipe for onion jam. And it is good, but uh, I'd rather do it this way because I've got so many different options to use these with. Because I am an, what you might call an ingredient canner <laughs> and an ingredient cook. So um, you won't see me canning up a lot of stews 
soups and stuff like that, but I do like canning up the ingredients to make a pot of soup or stew. Now, don't I have done it, and I, you know, if I see fit, I'll do it, but most of the time I'll just come in and open my jars up that I need to make my soups out of and any leftovers. I send with Mr. Brown for lunch because he needs a good hot lunch in the winter time at work to fill his belly. So I'm going to finish filling these jars. But I just, you know, when I started doing this, I thought, I just want to bring them along with me. This is just another Canon video that I probably, if I'd have had more time last night, I'd have, like I said, I'd have went through all the stages of cutting it up, cutting the onions up and putting them in the crock pot, but you really didn't miss much. I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you know. So, if you don't have a mandolin, don't think you have to have one to do this. Just cut them up as thin as you can get them. That's all you have to do. And uh, some people don't put the garlic or the Worcestershire sauce in it, and you don't have to do that either. I didn't put any salt in it, and I won't. Uh, that's just up to you. That way uh, you can kind of watch your salt intake a little bit there with this. But the garlic and the Worcestershire sauce just adds just a little bit more depth to it. Really good. So let me get these finished and uh, we'll get the lids on and we'll get them in the camera. Okay, I wanted to bring y'all in closer and I want to show y'all uh, what the caramelized onions look like. And uh, you can see there's plenty of, of broth, onion broth, in there. And it makes a really pretty jar. So all these other ones I've got ready. And all you have to do is just wipe your rims good with some vinegar. If you don't have any vinegar, just use some good warm water. I've got my lid. Now what I've done to all these other ones is I just went around the side and debubbled, and then I also go through the middle and debubble the middle too. I'm going to have to wipe my rim again. But I didn't want to forget the debubbling part. It's very important. And I filled these up about a half an inch head space. So my canner's uh, getting hot over here. Putting these on finger tight. And my finger tight, it takes me a lot to get it tight, so I didn't do it too tight. Um, but I'm going to get these all in the canner. And um, they're going to can about 10 pounds of pressure. I'm at just a little over 600 uh, feet above uh, sea level, so it's just a little, little over 600. And we're going to do it for 70 minutes. So I'm going to get these in the canner, and when we come back, we'll have them out of the canner, and we'll look and see how pretty they are. The steam's coming out pretty steady now, so we're going to give it 10 minutes. Okay, we got our, our weight on. When it gets up to about 10 pounds of pressure, sometimes it gets to 11 here, we'll start counting down 70 minutes. Now, it's been a couple of days later since I've made the caramelized onions, but I want to show y'all uh, how I'm going to use them tonight. And a lot of times we just fry up some hamburger patties, and I've got some sausages here, and I'm just going to take the caramelized onions. We're just going to kind of spread them over our 
our patties and our sausage. And these sausages, I really like these. These come from uh, Sam's Club. They're uh, an apple chicken uh, sausage, and they're really good. It's got little bits of uh, Granny Smith apples in it, and I really like them. So now all we got to do is just warm them up a little bit. And you see there's just a little bit of onion juice still left in the jar. And what I'm going to do is just spread it over his patties. And I'm just going to finish cooking them and let our onions warm up. And that's just one way of using your, your canned caramelized onions. There's so many different ways of using them.